is this a sea out in the sky? It is, in fact, sunshine. I don't know why I'm not being more motivated today with this sunshine, but it's cold. But I'm just, I'm lacking all motivation today, you guys. I don't know what it is. I slept well last night. Um, by the way, it's 1 p.m., correct? Yeah. I've been up for hours. I mean, I've been up since 7 o'clock, to be honest. <laughs> I woke up at 7. Um, oh, music's on in my car. Hang on one second. Got to turn it off. Can't hear it. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, and the air has turned to cold. Okay. So, I slept well. Woke up early. Got back into bed. Hang on. Let me turn this off. Until it actually gets warm in here. Um, got up. Got ready. Um, just... <clears throat> Didn't have a video to edit, so I didn't need to get on my computer. But, um, and a friend of mine, well, here, that's the, that was my fun part of the day. But it's not, it wasn't productive for me. Like, I've done nothing for myself. I've, like, rinsed and stacked dishes, which I need to remember to tell Kaylee to unload. So Ashley can load. But, um... A friend of mine last night we were talking about some church stuff and I have a fun um, new talent show that I get to plan for a church activity um, which will be fun but then she was like okay here's the fun stuff I want to go to Hawaii and you're gonna help me <laughs> it's like done and done and she wants to go to Maui during our spring break and I'm like why are we never on the same islands as our friends like at the same time like her daughter is Ashley's age and they would have so much fun anyway so she I didn't know her budget and I was just giving her ideas of what side of the island to stay like they've been to Hawaii they've been to Kauai and maybe Oahu they just don't know Maui so we were talking on all the different things and you guys know that I will talk about Hawaii anytime anywhere with anyone I just absolutely love it so um Literally right now, just so you know, I'm not going anywhere except to get a Cafe Rio salad. I'm trying to be healthy and make better choices even though I'm mildly depressed. But I am going to go get a salad. You can't even see me. So I'm going to go get this salad um, and not have the camera out while I'm driving. And uh, and then I'll, I'll tell you a little bit more about how fun it was to help her start to plan her trip to Hawaii. You guys, you can literally, like those who are here well I gotta put the camera down hang on one second all right I have a light so many things to talk to you about so my so we started talking about like what side of the island to stay on what areas what hotels they sent her a whole list of like good hotels um some that are out of our price range others that I just haven't ever stayed at before ones that Jason and I have stayed at that are more affordable all right we are officially at Cafe Rio so I can kind of finish talking here real quick I'm also trying to charge my phone. It's at 30, 29% now, but when I got in the car, it was like 18%. And I can't drive back home if that phone dies. <laughs> so I didn't realize that's how much I was scrolling on my phone all morning long. So I started my morning off getting ready and t helping, talking to her on the phone, kind of going through, giving her lists of hotels, certain areas that are cheaper versus not so cheap. Um, kind of just kind of going through everything and then I didn't worry about it beyond that like I don't know her price range I didn't know her dates you know she's like well I'll follow up with you when I kind of decide if I'm actually going to go forward and start to look into this and then um, she started texting me uh, units from Verbo that she was like okay this one is great but like do you suggest the resort or are these two great? I'm like, she's like, which resort do you like better? And I was like, those are both at the Aston Con of Poly Shores. Sometimes they like do acronyms and people don't know the acronym is the same as, anyway, the actual name. And so I was kind of going through that. One of them, we've stayed at the Aston before, Jason and I did, and hated our unit because it just felt like it was grandma and grandpa's condo that hadn't been updated in 30 years. Literally, you could see the floorboards and the sheets are blue. It's a bad sign. That's my that's my cue. If the sheets are blue, mm -mm, don't go with it. But 
so we were going through I'm like but that's very affordable the unit she found was completely like updated I was like that's perfect two bedrooms pull out couch you have plenty of room for your kids and um anyway so we're going through it and and then she was I we had had a conversation um her oldest is off on a mission for our church and then we'll be off at college so she's likely not ever coming to live back at home again um and then her oldest her next oldest is a senior i think and so like she's starting to like get them out of the nest as as well as we are and and she was like you've always talked like sometimes spending about the little bit extra to do vacations like this is worth it because you're not going to get that time back with your kids do you still stand by that and i said 100 percent we have extended our budget um, all right sorry it turned off on me it doesn't say that it's low battery and I don't have an extra one. So if I can't finish this, I'm going to have to wait till I get home. Because I literally don't have any batteries in my bag. Okay, we're going to be quick. Um, until it starts flashing at me again. Um, so then she started looking at other resorts. And sent me one from the Hanua Kai. And it was affordable. Same price as the other resort. But it only had one bathroom. And she's like, is that a game changer? And I was like, it's the better resort for the same price. Maybe it's worth dealing with one bathroom and they have three four three boys and one daughter that's ashley's age so it's not even the same situation as i couldn't do one bathroom with the amount of girls that we have it wouldn't be possible anyway she was like contemplating that and then i found her a room at the same resort for roughly a thousand dollars more got her the second bedroom but it's being painted up until march it's not even like flashing that the battery is dead i don't even understand it just keeps turning off Anyway, um, they're offering a 25% discount if they end up being painting the outside of the building the week that she's going to be there. Oh, there's the battery flashing. And I was like, take the 25% discount. So you're going to stay at the better resort with the second bathroom and you're going to get a discount and pay the same price. I was like, this is a killer deal. Okay. So I'm going to film from my phone because I'm in a mode and I want to just, I want to film while I'm out and talk to you guys. <laughs> and I hate this. I hate using my phone. One, because like the person now, the girl next to me is smiling at me because she knows exactly what I'm doing. And I, I don't know where to look for the stupid camera versus my actual camera. Um, so anyway, I, she's going to contemplate talking to her husband, talk about the increased price, you know, budget, what whatnot. And I sent her the photo or the video that we did of the Hanua Kai. And she was like, oh crap, I have to, <laughs> I have to talk to my husband now. This looks amazing. Anyway, it was really fun to work with her, and um, if you guys ever feel like you're bothering me and asking me questions about Hawaii, or if you want help trying to plan a trip for yourself, whether now or in the future, you will not bother me. Anyone who's let, met me in person, you can just <laughs> ask Lydia, ask uh, Patty, ask um, like anyone if I will, am willing to talk about Hawaii, a hundred percent. Um, that's why I'm contemplating becoming a travel agent just for Hawaii. I don't know if I've ever said that on here and Jason and I keep talking about it or I keep talking about it. Um, I don't know what it entails. If anyone, if you know what that would entail, um, let me know. Cause I would love to get paid for doing the thing that I love doing anyway. Um, so that's all I did all morning. And then I watched like TikTok videos because I just wasn't, I didn't have anything to do. Like, I don't know. So I was kind of bored, which is why I am, whoopsie, I don't know how to use this camera. Oops. But uh, that is why we are now at Cafe Rio to get some lunch. And Kaylee is mad at me for getting Cafe Rio without her. And I'm like, you can get it. She's over at uh, Target with Jacob. And then they're going to his favorite store, uh, Safeway. After they're done, I told her to look for sodas for your Super Bowl. Um, if they're on sale, they should be on sale. Um, so I might run over to Target and grab those. But I could also just wait until Friday. They're going to be on sale and I can just go with Jason. Um, I'm just bored. And Ashley comes home in a half hour and I don't want to have to go back out with her and be bored. Because anyway, I'd rather just wait and take her to cheerleading and I'm actually, I'm hoping to go walking tonight. I don't have anything to do. I don't have anything like preventing me from going. And I'm getting a little um, perturbed at myself for gaining weight back. So I, I need to get 
my butt in gear. I love walking outside. I've realized how much I love walking outside and will go anytime it's nice. And so the winter has been really hard for me. And so anyway, so then the other thing I want to talk to you about before I go into Cafe Rio is my hair. I didn't film yesterday. So this is day two hair and it's already better. Like this used to be so cakey and now it's so light and like I can actually like go like this and have it like just, I don't know, I couldn't do this before. It was like this straight sticky mess before, especially like day two, day three. It's still a little bit like that, like underneath here. It still kind of gets stringy and oily and stuff underneath, but um, the upside is a lot better than it was. So my shampoo was already working. And then, and I might have to wash it again tonight if I really walk a ton and get sweaty um, at the gym, whatever you want to call it, community center. Um, and I think that's it. But yesterday I did nothing. I mean, I did stuff. I just didn't film. But, um, but anyway, that's where I'm at. I'm just kind of mildly bored and unmotivated. That's not really a great place to be. So, <laughs> and I also had to sit and wait for Ashley at cheerleading last night as well. Um, so anyway, that's where I'm at. See, I don't, I don't, this whole like camera being on the front side of it. I don't know. I don't, I don't like using my phone, but my dang camera, in case you've never seen my camera, this is what I normally use. Um, oh, okay, okay, okay. I remember what I was, the last thing I was going to say, I'm going to post a community post, maybe a picture of Jason and I, I want to do a Q and A video. Um, so many of you are new, but some of you haven't ever asked us questions before and done a Q and A with us before, even if you've been with us for six months or a year or even a couple years. Um, so I will either leave me questions or Jason questions or both of us um, in the comments down below for this video as well as or the community post as soon as I find a cute picture of the two of us. I will put that on my page. Usually if you are set with the bell to like receive notifications of when I post a video, it'll also notify you that I post a photo on our page. Um, and so then you can put your questions there. Just know it's very hard for me to see the questions and not reply to them because I like replying to you guys' questions. Um, so I want to do a Q&A video. So if you hurry and get those questions posted, hopefully you'll even like have already seen it before this video goes live um, and I can film that video. So actually don't leave your questions here. Hopefully you'll have seen, I shouldn't even ask here, but if we end up doing a second video, a follow-up video, and I see extra questions here, I will follow up with that as well. So go ahead and leave the, the comments. But um, that's it. I'm going to go in and get my salad, wait and hear from Kaylee if the sodas are on sale, and then see if there's anything else I can do before I head home to get Ashley to go to cheer. All right. Ate my salad, took a nap, put my workout clothes on. So I am going. <laughs> I am gonna go. <laughs> That's kind of sad that my kids. What? You're gonna go walking? No, it's because you just. I haven't. I haven't gone for a very long time, and it's. Yes, I'm it's gonna really go. It's sunny outside too, so like. I might go outside. I mean, if it, it's not sunny right now. It. It was earlier, but. All right. But I am gonna go. You have a tattoo on it. What? Oh. You did my tattoo. I'll show you. So they got this little like tattoo, fake tattoo, like kit. I have a lot on um, I don't know why it has like little coconuts on this side. They don't stay there. I don't know. But it's kind of cute. So she did that on me. I wanted to do two different colors, but you wanted it black. I wanted to do that brown in them. Oh, well did we, ha oh we have the henna kit too. Yeah. Kaylee got the henna kit. Well maybe we'll, when this is, well we can do another one. We can do it like somewhere else on me. Mm -hmm. can do that later tonight when you can't sleep but hopefully you'll be tired tonight yep all right just dropped ashley off charged my phone and my headphones i have a podcast to listen to you can also listen to or watch tiktok i have good reception in there literally this is the first time i've gone walking in months so yeah I'm hoping this kind of kickstarts me to maybe start using my treadmill at home, even if I'm not like doing work. I just haven't done it. It's more of a workout doing it on that. So it's a better workout for me. I get it done quicker. I get the steps in faster. So I need to like 
suck it up and do that. And now it's easier to do my hair, so all of that. I should be more more, more motiv motivated. Um, but if this is helping you get up and going again, then, then hopefully we can do it together because it's been a really long winter and we have a long winter ahead of us, but I need to start doing my steps again. I need to start losing weight. I want to look and feel better for our upcoming trip. And I also have a doctor's appointment and I know at this point I'm going to disappoint her and I'm thinking she's about to kick me off for everything except for just my thyroid. <laughs> I think she's going to send me off to a different doctor and not take care of the other stuff. Um, I don't want her to do that. I want her to see my motivation and keep working with me on this weight loss issue. So th that's kind of my motivation for the next couple months or a couple weeks. We'll take it a day at a time. <laughs> we'll bring it back to one day at a time. Just like riding a bike. Let's see how many miles I did. Oh, I have to like, hang on, I have to put you down to look at it. Um, I'll tell you about my experience walking. It was also cute to watch Ashley. They came out to the gym to practice their um, performance. Um, they are performing, let's see, this week they are performing at UW for a men's basketball game. I believe. And then they have another one at Seattle U um, in a couple weeks. So they had to come out into the gyms. It was fun because we could see them performing like the whole thing. They kind of have to really spread out in order to get the right like formation and whatnot. And they can't do that in the room that they practice in. Um, but anyway, so it was fun um, to kind of sit and watch them and like you could see like other parents like people don't see them like practicing because they're in a room and you just don't notice them. And so like there were little like toddler, <laughs> like a little mini kid basketball practice going on. So there's like pa parents sit sitting there in the bleachers or whatever, looking at their own kids and then all these cheerleaders come out and it's just cute to like, whoa, like, whoa, <laughs> they're doing their stunting. And Ashley is now a flyer for the rest of the performances and for Japan, um, along with the other little girl that is, one of the main flyers but um so that was kind of cute to watch them and uh i don't know about an hour ish half hour into my walk i noticed a friend was there and a friend from church and she was like oh oh i'm so glad you're here i was hoping you'd be here um she's like i, I haven't been coming down here for a long time but i'm getting back into it and i was like same if we can motivate each other let's do that and uh, she was doing arms for another half hour or so, and then she walked with me for about an hour, which was so motivating, because we just talk and talk and talk. And she's like a little Hawaii guru, just like me. Her husband is in Honolulu right now on business. And I'm like, why are you not there? And she's like, because I like to work too. Um, but, so that was like very distracting to just get the miles in. I didn't even tell you how many miles I've done. Um, I've done, a total of seven and a half miles. I only had like a half mile on my belt <laughs> when I got to the gym today. Um, but the last half hour after she left, I was like, I'm just gonna keep going. Cause at this point I, I either stop now and go home and shower and then come back to get Ashley or I keep walking, see how far I can get and then just stay and wait for her. Um, so I got through another hour of walking so we're at three hours in on walking and I have come to the gas station I wanted to fill up my water bottle with some ice and more water and I got a beverage to just sit and drink in my car I have 40 minutes until Ashley is done at her practice and I'm gonna come back again tomorrow night unless I can't feel my legs <laughs> but I probably should it's only an hour hour and a half practice tomorrow night so I can at least get my stretches um, just kind of get out here and um, kind of get used to a routine again and um, 
I think it'll be good for me. It felt good to be here, but I can tell my legs are kind of sore. Because, I mean, it's been like three months. So to go from zero to seven miles, <laughs> probably stupid on my part. But it also tells me that I am capable of doing it. So back to wait for Ashley. Jason is on his way home. Our friend um, who is a diesel mechanic supervisor for a school district here in town. He got us some brake pads at discount and is, Jason went and picked them up from his house and he's going to put those on Abby's car. I believe it's Abby's car that needs new brakes. Um, so he's still driving home. He probably chatted. <laughs> he probably had a good time talking to the friend. Um, I went the wrong way. But anyway, so he's not even home yet either. But, um, and I'm wondering if Abby's at work still. Kaylee and Jacob were there with Chelsea and Ashley. Or Chelsea. Yeah, just Chelsea. So, this is, kind of feels like good to like, kind of have a good workout routine back with the regular like cheer routine. Um, I think life just got busy with the holidays since it was hard to justify like walking for three hours when I could get stuff done. But now I have time, so might as well use it that way. Mm -hmm.